Hello everyone, we are Joanna Stanisch and Konrad Lis. We are pleased to present you our project, Hacktour Software Implementation of the Point Pillars Network for 3D Object Detection in Point Clouds. The aim of our project was implementation of a car detection system based on LiDAR data. The target platform is Xilinx ZCU-104 Evaluation Board, which incorporates Zing Ultra K Plus and PSOC. If you have seen a self-driving car before, you have probably seen a LiDAR sensor too. A continuously rotating LiDAR sensors and thousands of laser pulses every second. Light reflections from obstacles are then used to create a 3D point cloud. On this slide, you can see a corresponding camera image on the left side and a LiDAR point cloud on the right. On the image, the point pillars architecture overview is presented. The network can be split into three main parts, pillar feature net, backbone, and detection head. Before the pillar feature net, the input point cloud needs to be divided into a set of pillars without preset height. Pillar feature net is responsible for calculating features for each pillar. The PFN generates pseudo image by putting these features to proper positions in the output tensor. This procedure is called a scatter operation. The backbone contains mostly convolutional and transposed convolutional layers. The detection head is responsible for detecting and localizing objects in the point cloud. Xilinx, Brevitas, and Finn were used to implement the backbone and detection head. The remaining parts of the network were implemented with Python and NumPy library. The proposed card detection system is partitioned between the processing system PS, programmable logic PL, and a PC. To begin with, the PC sends a data indicator to the PS. It points to which point cloud the target platform should read from the memory. The PS reads the point cloud from a SD card, voxelizes them, and extends the feature vector for each point. The data prepared in this way is fed into the PFN. After the PFN, the scatter operation is performed to form an appropriate backbone input tensor. The scatter output is preprocessed and fed into the backbone and detection head network parts, which run in the programmable logic. The PO returns map, which are then postprocessed by the PS. The PS sends the output maps to the PC, which interprets them and visualizes the detections. On the upper half of the slide, you can see the LiDAR point cloud detections projected on the image. On the lower part of the slide, card detections in bits of view are presented. We want to point out that images are used here only for visualization purposes. They are not taken into consideration by the detector. In one sample inference, processing system part takes circa 65 seconds. The programmable logic part takes about two seconds. The overall time is 67 seconds, whereas LiDAR typically outputs point cloud every one tenth of a second. One minute is far from real time, but we already have ideas for optimizations. The PS part now implemented in Python can be rewritten in C++, and the PL part can be more parallelized as the FIN framework allows for adjusting the degree of parallelization within each layer. According to the author's knowledge, only two FPGA implementations of LiDAR object detection networks were described in scientific papers. However, our project is the first FPGA implementation of the Point Pillars network. After time optimizations, the project can be used in ADES and as a part of autonomous car object detection system. The low power consumption of reprogrammable SOC enables to use DCNN-based LiDAR detection algorithms in future customer vehicles. Our future work includes time optimization of the PS and the PL part, creating a demonstrator cooperating with a LiDAR sensor, experimenting with other object classes and other datasets, running more advanced LiDAR object detection networks, applying data fusion with camera images or radar data to obtain higher accuracy. Thanks for watching.